Jetsy back at it again and we <laughs> we are have done it we've found ourselves at Frankoville Villa Hotel and this hotel is it's something special I uh, the charm the quaintness and the fact that you can see it's 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 only in it's it's still butterflying into something that's gonna be even more massive in the years to come and it's blossoming into something that's gonna be even better I'm getting a chance to sh show you this place on its trajectory and on its exponential trajectory that's gonna, I'm sure going to hit even higher heights very soon. This hotel has 20 rooms of various configurations, king bed, twin bed, king bed with a smaller bed. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, you just tell them what, what's, what you're in for and you're, and you're good to go. And the store behind it, the people behind it, the food that's here, we're gonna get into all of it. So listen guys, don't go anywhere, stay tuned. We have a heck of an episode waiting for you. Let's go. And as I mentioned, the rooms are truly uh, one of the key things that makes this hotel stand out like look at this look at i'm standing on a marble top you have a, uh, a, a large extreme extremely comfortable bed that's one of the things i you know between you and me happens too often you have these nice looking rooms you have a hard bed but this is i'm telling you i can sink into this bad boy right and the view you have this incredible view in this particular room and the accents you have a chair here the bathroom is just immaculate it's very airy, lots of light, lots of windows. I'm telling you, the, 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 the rooms is an incredible big selling point when it comes to the Franco Ville Villa Hotel. So as I'm sitting here on the the very edge of the property uh, at really the presidential suite and you're just looking at a mini private terrace and then there's another uh, more public terrace that look, overlooks the water i think this this is the most opportune time uh, not only to share again this is so unexpected to have to be so far out in ensemble of all places and and find such really uh, top tier accommodations to share really the story behind uh, Francoville Villa Hotel. First and foremost, it was founded by two uh, cousins. Now they were born in Anza Anzavo, but they left at a super young age, right? So they didn't really know much about the city minus what they were told. Now their grandmother came from here is really their connection to the city, uh, to the land that's here and why they ultimately wanted to move forward. They, they, they visited Ansavo around the 2010 earthquake and they saw that there was a massive need, not only across the country, but especially in, the, in their ancestral hometown for something like this, a, a, a community center. They weren't even in it for the money. They just knew that this town, which lacks so much investment, needed something that could be a first point of contact for others who are looking to do you know advancement in this area and if you're gonna do advancement you need decent lodging like real lodging that's gonna you know not take you you know too far away from what you what comfort and, and, and modernity and so they said the two cousins came together and in 2015 with just 
you know, an idea, a few bucks in their pocket, invested and started this. And from 2015 until right now in 2021, it's been it's been a, a work in progress that has been really bear, bore fruit uh, many times over. And I can tell you, this just goes to show you the power of diaspora investment, the power of uh, when two people, when people decide, you know what, that Haiti deserves more, Haiti deserves better, and they can be the catalyst of, 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 of that, despite of all this horror, horror stories that are shared amongst Haitians, despite all the bad press that's continually going about, but the fact that we have two Haitian American who are push, who have pushed forward to do something like this, my friends, Toast to the founders and toast to you watching this who needed this bit of inspiration to move forward and accomplish something similar. So we are here on this concrete beach really uh, that the hotel made to allow you to connect yourself to the water and it is you know you have boats here there's depending on what's going on you can do a, like a mini excursion that gets you out on the water with uh, local fishermen and this is a place a launch pad that allows you to jump right into the crystal clear blue waters uh, of Unsavo. In fact last night I had him come down and bring a beach recliner and I spent literally uh, late until very late in the evening sitting here on this area looking up on the stars. It was such an incredible thing. I'm telling you, this, this hotel really, 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 really has everything you'll need to spend a quality, uh, well-deserved break from it all. Thank you, La Pe. <laughs> My favorite bartender, not only because of his name, but he mixes some of the best drinks I have ever tasted. We're gonna try this out. La Pe, who is this? Who Okay, I'm gonna try a mix drink. First, I'm gonna add a glass of wine. Second, I'm gonna add a little bit of citron. Third, I'm gonna add a little bit of Cévedon. Quatrièmement, moi j'ai ajouté un petit Captain Morgan. Ok. Et cinquièmement, moi j'ai ajouté un petit Margarita. Ok. Ok. In other words, j'ai ajouté flavor okay. <laughs> and good stuff. Ok, tout ça c'est dans Shake Ya. On est là. Moi, souké. Parce qu'il vient bon. Que ça a moins vidé. On serve you. Ok. D'accord. All right, let's taste. Oh wow, that's that's really good. That's like a juice, but yet, you know, the alcohol is there, right? This is a dangerous drink, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you, La Pe. Order the mixed drink, guys. You won't go wrong. Nice. So we've been around, we've shown you the rooms, we've shown you the bar, we've shown you the terrace, we've shown you the beach. So much to show, but what is at the core of any real well functioning facility is not only the employees but also management and I have Roseleur Labrousse here in front of me and she's going to tell me a few words about uh, the hotel but first what sort of impact do you feel the hotel uh, of Franco Bay Hotel is doing in the community of Ansavo? Bon, I'm going to say the impact that the hotel has done to accueil tout le monde. La majorité des activités qui a fait dans un cerveau, le plus souvent, il y a réfugié dans Francoville, Villa, Hôtel, par rapport à l'accueil non et comme si j'ai eu senti à l'aise, les gens ont eu un cas de respirer un peu plus bien, ça rend tout. Ils ont attiré par le staff et ils ont remis un espace qui est très bel. So, of 
course, my favorite segment when it comes to any episode, especially a hotel uh, like this with such good food, and that is what exactly is in front of us here, right? And and, and I can't, I, I don't, I'm looking at stuff I've, I haven't really seen before, despite being hated for so long. So that's why I have to have, I've had Peterson Jean-Louis here, and he's gonna break down all the different foods that are in front of us. Peterson, how are you? Bon bon bye. Now, what is in front of you here? What is this? C'est lambi boucané. On se met avec poisson et puis du riz blanc. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be all me. I'm gonna put that right here in front of me. But but still, all this looks so good though. Now, what is this? C'est poisson gros sel. Poisson gros sel. Okay, okay, okay. I hear they talk about this all the time here as I'm driving around. This is a very popular fish here, and it's so meaty, so fat. Wow. And um, and now over here we have it looks like crab. What is that? Nogi um, o creole. Okay, okay. Creole, mm -hmm. crawfish, basically. It's crawfish. Guys. Fruit de mer. Okay. And then finally over there we have what is that? Is it tasso or grill? Tasso. Tasso. De cabri. All right. That's you have goat over there in that corner. Listen, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna taste. It. I'm gonna taste this with you guys because I, I, I need y'all to believe me when I tell you all this is so good and so delicious, right? So this right here is the is the lumbi, right? Let's grab one little morsel of that, right? Ready? Wow! Wow! It's grilled, chewy, and delicious. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna try the fish. Let's grab a little bit of that. Oh man, that's some good fish. I mean, the, the seasoning has seeped into, there like being a big fish, but things you worry about is, is it really gonna get the seasoning down in different layers? Not a problem here. No matter what you pick here, and there's even other stuff that we've we ate here over the past two days we've been here. They have a legume that's really, really good. And, and this morning we had uh, a ragu with, with goat, with butter, right? So freaking good. So no matter what you eat here, you're going to be a O K. Peterson, thank you so much. We get, can we eat? Can we eat now? Yeah? Wait. Okay, let's go. <laughs> And of course, we couldn't end the episode without speaking with the general manager, first and foremost. Sonel Feton, thank you so much. It's been, it's been an absolute pleasure having Sonel. Sonel has been with us the entire time. Uh, we've been in Ansavo. Uh, you may have even seen him here and there in some of the scenes when we were in our last episode, going to the waterfall and going to the city. And, and of course, you know, he's been an absolutely gracious host, not just because it's just me, but, but he's someone who, no matter who you are, he's gonna give you the same level of service. Sonel, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> thank you. No, no, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you. Faito Sonel, and I'm Francoville Villa Hotel. So, this is a hotel that we have siège in Savo, Petit Bacardet, numéro 5. So, I'm so happy to be able to be part of the administration of the hotel. I'm so happy to be able to be a part of the Francoville Villa Hotel. Donc pour être capable encourager belle initiative ça et pour qu'abay encouragement toi avec mettre hôtel là donc qui voyage pas tous les modes donc qui ouais belle bagaille et les voulait faire fierté en savo donc c'est ça qui fait les implanter hôtel ça là donc n'importe monde capable venir donc capable accueillir n'importe monde donc c'est une bagaille client et tout yo félicitez nous les au venir là service yo joine tout côté à aux États-Unis, à le Canada, en Angleterre, en France. Donc c'est pas gain exception. Donc c'est un bagage qui fait n'a encourager tout diaspora yo, surtout avec 300 ans en savo qui va gagner là, puis yo venir pour yo vinn faire fierté yo, yo ka mener étranger, yo ka mener zanmi yo, collègue travail yo, l'autre bois pour yo venir. Donc j'en a regardé vieux ça l'autre bord là, c'est l'en mer. Donc c'est une spécialité en savo gain côté yo ka manger fruits de mer, poisson lambi au mar, yo capable jeune. Donc c'est une bagaille qui fait encore nous dit venir avec étranger yo, venir Francoville n'a servi notre en coup roi et reine. Nice, nice, nice. And that's it. He, he believes it. He really believes it because he, he executes it just like he's saying. Now, what about you though? What's your history? Are you from Antavo? What's you tell us about yourself? Uh, en fait, moi pas yo en savlé. 
Mais le moment de venir, ça vaut, moi je suis mais ambiance qui gagne. C'est que c'est une ville en Haïti qui est plus paisible. Donc c'est une bagarre qui fait. Nous encourageons les gens pour venir. Il y a une sécurité normale. Il n'y a pas besoin de peur, il n'y a pas besoin de doute. Lorsque vous en savez, vous entourez des gens qui sont professionnels, surtout à l'hôtel Francoville Villa. Donc vous avez besoin d'un accueil qui est très chaleureux. So how do you see how has this the success of this hotel encourage you to maybe do business and maybe how would you speak to someone who wants to do business on Savo. Would you encourage them to do business in Haiti? Voilà. Le fait que c'est yon nan moun ki fait parti administration, j'aime te déjà dit non ça et me joine en pile encouragement et me joine en pile engouement côté que me te ka moi-même nan nan on temps et ki ka venir me te ka investi quel que soit ça me gagne dans dans ville ça parce que moi son ville sans ce qui 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 pas de gain gros perspective qui pas de gain gros activité avec hôtel ça qui 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 fait valeur en savo et nous capable dire quel que soit monde étranger on monde peut-être pas haïtien mais il capable venir là pour investir dans 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 savo monde en savo en particulier yo très hospitalier donc c'est une bagarre qui fait moi-même si m'ta un objectif pour m'ta fond gros investissement c'est en ça vol d'argent en ça vol bye 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 and, and that's the thing guys i i right dri driving around in Savo, i see there's there's lots of empty space and, and, and lacks a lot of different things that are come standard you know, for Haiti for example a town like Ansavo when i say and again i'm not highlighting Ansavo specifically because there's a lot of towns like Ansavo i don't see a boutique i don't see a, a store like a convenience store You know, I don't see a lot of different things. For example, you know, production-related things like maybe a, a boulanger perhaps could do very well here. I feel like, like there isn't a, they have to travel very far, right? You know, things that involve water might do very well here. And that's the thing about Haiti is there's so much opportunity in so many of these cities, so many of these villes. If you're from a small town, visit your small town, connect with your small town, get to know your small town, and think about what opportunities that exist here. I want to thank Solnel Faton for everything you've done to welcome us. And, and on top of that, I know this is really the start for this hotel and this establishment. And, and more importantly, this is a start for hopefully you. If it's your first time watching See Genty, I want you to make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and, and make sure you're back here because this is what we're all about here. We're about coming to big towns, small towns, and show what Haiti has to offer because Haiti only changes when we persevere, we push forward, we invest, we're successful, and then we can influence many actors that are pushing the country in the wrong direction. We can influence them to move forward because it's not going to be sitting on a computer screen criticizing and saying X, Y, and Z. It's going to be here impacting and fighting for the better Haiti. All right? Listen, guys, this is what we're about here. Like, subscribe, share, and we're back at it again. We're back at it again. Peace.